Hey there, today's hot tip is going to be doing a glenohumeral joint injection, but one of the snafus with doing a glenohumeral joint injection is the convexity of the humeral head. So I'm gonna demonstrate something that was actually described to me by a friend of mine. Uh, ironically, his first name is Sun, and he calls this setting the sun. All right, so basically what you wanna do is your typical setup for a glenohumeral joint is you're gonna have a short axis view of the posterior aspect of the glenohumeral joint. We have Greg here in a side-lying position just for a position of comfort, and we're getting a sonographic image of the posterior glenohumeral joint. The relevant anatomy is obviously the humeral head, the labrum, and the glenoid. The difficult thing that sometimes I personally have a challenge with is that you'll have the convexity of the humeral head almost sitting up above the glenoid in your way of a trajectory of approach and doing an injection into the glenohumeral joint. So what we try to do is get that humeral head out of the way, and the way you can do that is just by tilting the humeral head down out of the way by putting pressure on the toe of the transducer. So I'm really kind of pushing in on the more posterior part of that transducer. I'm going to demonstrate that again. I'm tilting the probe in this position where the sun rises, and then we get the sun to set out of the way of your injection by tilting the probe, the toe of it, down more into the body. I explain that to the patient, they may feel some pressure, but that helps with the trajectory of the needle going from a lateral to medial approach and it gets that humeral head out of the way in that convexity so that it's not going to block your view as it would in this position. This is Paul Lento with your hot tip of the day. Now you give it a try.